Well, Ringo, truly, my doggos, my cats, <laughs> me, my life, we are all moving. Girls, the guys are so hot. <laughs> everybody oh my goodness me excusing the whole look this morning we are on our way to the airport we're going to new york and i'm so excited when i say we i mean you and i because i am currently solo less in the car solo less person less solo i think will do if you watched my last video you'd have seen i had a massive mountain on my forehead which is, is still currently there which is very unfortunate i'm actually at the halfway point to the airport and i've just stopped off to get a pumpkin spice latte i've got a ham and cheese croissant from starbucks also a caramelized biscuit loaf so basically a biscoff cake Type thing. I'm flying from Gatwick, which isn't my favourite, but we're flying with BA, so I kind of went went for the nice flight. There was I had two options on flights. I had a really cheap flight, which I thought, oh, cheap flight, great. And then I thought, I haven't ever heard of the airline. Kind of would prefer to land and land with luggage, which I'm sure I would have done anyway. But for the sake of an extra two hundred pounds, I think it was. I thought I'd go BA. I said BA. I got my luggage included, and I got in-flight meals as well. So that is the plan. I am off to go and spend the weekend, a long weekend, um, with my friend Zara over in New York. I'll see you guys are coming with me. It's going to be a complete mixture, as always, of lifestyle and equestrian content because my friend has her horses over there and we're actually going to a horse show in one of the days as well. So, strap in. Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to a New York travel vlog. Unlocking a new version of Scar as well. This is Athleisure Scar. I don't know if you guys have ever, like, met, like, Athleisure Scar. Sometimes we can be cool. Sometimes we can wear a cap. <laughs> Not very often it happens, but sometimes. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and let's go to New York. So I've landed and I'm just waiting for my luggage now, as we can see. I have just been heavily flirted with by passport security. So funny, the last time I was in New York, well, the last two times I was in New York, um, passport security is like terrifying. That was a breeze. In fact, I'm like <laughs> blushing. I'm, in fact, I'm literally blushing. I was flirted with that much. I feel like I look horrendous, but I mean, clearly not. He was asking me what skincare I used for my skin's glowing. I'm thinking, is it? I'm not taking I've touched my skincare in like 24 hours. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, but yeah, I'm just now waiting for my baggage. Then to try and find an Uber and then to try and find Zara's on my one without getting lost or anything else. So fingers crossed I now make the next step because so far I'm doing well. Oh my goodness guys, so I've just arrived. Zara's actually at a Broadway show this evening up until about 11 o'clock. So I have literally just arrived and I've got the whole pad to myself. Look how cute this is. Here is me looking like I've just walked out of a dustbin because I, <laughs> I'm exhausted and uh, I'm dressed dustbin-like. I've literally just walked in here. I'm starving as well. I need to get some food. I'm just having a little, a little mooch. She's even got a bath. Oh my God, I'm actually obsessed. The only dilemma I have is do I order Uber Eats or do I go out for food? I feel like I need to kind of set myself up a little bit freshen up, have a quick shower, and then decide what I'm gonna do food-wise. I think that's my plan. Morning update, showered, I feel so fresh. Oh my God, the shower is insane. And I've just ordered an Uber Eats actually to the apartment here. I've actually got a Chick-fil-A coming. I'm buzzing about that. show isn't it or yeah, show Granite Granite. Show so we're here this morning to watch her trainer compete um which is peter leon which is all very exciting um i'm feeling a little bit car sick lovely driver <laughs> but a lot of braking <laughs> a lot of tight turns um but i need to put the cap on because we're going in as grooms today we're getting without tickets basically <laughs> team line chat um uh, am i good thanks <laughs> 
Our plan for today is horse show and then we're going to go and watch Zara ride at her barn afterwards which is in Bedford um, and then we're going to go back and I think tonight I'm absolutely exhausted like I'm kind of feeling the jet lag I think we're going to get a takeout and watch some Twilight films and just have like a really easy <laughs> easy chilled one I'm very up for that I'm so up for that um, I'm definitely going to be leaving on Monday with an American accent because Zara is so American I'm like oh my god this is so cool um, I do also have some content to get which I may get um, today or tomorrow but it's kind of it's kind of raining like it's giving autumn or fall um, um, it's but it's gonna be fall um, but it's not giving like the aesthetic of the outfit that I need to get like I need like a little bit of sunshine so I might need to steal Zara for 10 minutes on a sunny day for that but anyway guys let's go and watch some show jumping it is it is <laughs> Your first one is in Caitlin Campbell next. Ashley in one, Coil in two, Megan in three. Time. <laughs> Sarah's like looking at me, she doesn't do the whole YouTube thing. <laughs> She's like Instagram famous, but doesn't, doesn't get the whole YouTube thing. Oh my god. Boring clothes is like a really expensive, really expensive, like preppy club for everyone. That's a cool. I've never been a hat person, but I feel like in the last two days I've become a hat person. <laughs> The one thing that I don't like about hats is the fact that I now have hat hair um, and like a hat line across here. I just can't believe I'm in a Target. I'm like, guys, I'm having the best time of my life. I haven't, I haven't even been here 24 hours yet and I'm literally having the best time ever. Like, the UK does not have anything like this. It's crazy. Oh my God, all the jumpers, look. I feel like Ringo and Truly are going to be, I feel like I'm just saying, <laughs> I think Ringo and Truly are going to be moving out. <laughs> <laughs> to New York? To New York, yeah. I can live like this. <laughs> got to Zara's horse yard and she's just got on her beautiful horse Oreo. So fun fact, I actually met Oreo, I think like the first or second day that Zara ever bought him, which would have been about two years ago, I want to say, which was in the UK before she flew him over to New York. Nowhere in the UK. 
UK is ever, ever going to live up to this. This is absolutely stunning. I'm living my best life. And day one, I'm just having the best day. I'm having the best time. I already don't want to leave on Monday. Um, I want to move to here and move my horses and my animals and my life and everything over here. It is just insane. Here are my favourite two. <laughs> He's the most beautiful boy. Other than Ringo, of course, they're on joint BC. <laughs> Oh, he's such a love. Mind, Any barn ever again is ever going to live up to this. This is literally insane. I'm in equestrian heaven. It's Oreo. Well, it would have been the first time I met you, actually, which would have been about two years ago. And it was the first week that Zara actually bought Oreo. It was before he flew from the UK over here. Amazing. It's kind of like a full circle moment. <laughs> as I said at the very beginning of this video as well, if you guys don't follow Zara, either on TikTok or Insta, <laughs> Shout out! Was it clout chasing? Is that the word? Would that be the term to use? I'm not down with the kids. <laughs> I'm having the best time, everybody. This is like the perfect mixture of me between like my favourite place in the world, which is New York, and mixing my favourite thing in the world, which is horses, all into one. At my favourite time of year in the autumn, when all of the leaves, as we can see, as we can see in front of us now, you know what, darling? In fall. In fall. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, in the fall. Um, when all the leaves are turning orange, and oh my goodness me, it's just beautiful. So we're just walking down to. Um, a field where Zara's going to ride. She did a little bit of work in the arena, but as she was saying, there's not going to be many more times that she's going to be able to ride um, on the ground coming up to the, the winter now. So, oh, just start it. Well, Ringo, truly, my doggos, my cats, <laughs> me, my life, we are all moving um, here now, basically. Um, I'm on the off. And just, this, this is me. This I've never been more in love with anything in my whole entire existence. I'm going to turn you around. This is my view right now. How is this real life? I'm just, I'm in my equestrian aesthetic, like, dream. Just, like, I'm sorry. This is a just, this is just insane. Like, absolutely insane. Oreo is just the best behaved little boy in the whole wide world. Like, what an angel. Here they come. here again. <laughs> we are on our way to the yard. I've been up since four o'clock this morning. The jet lag has really, really hit this morning. Um, but it is, what time is it? Seven o'clock? Carl, half seven. Way to, um, <laughs> so, um, we, we're on the way to Zara's barn again this morning to have a little ride. It's actually raining today, um, but there's luckily an indoor at Zara's, so it's really nice. Um, and then we're going to come back later. We're actually going to Nobu this evening for dinner, which is really exciting. I've been to Nobu in Monaco, but not in New York, so that's going to be really cool. So Zara's actually a fashion student at Parsons and I gave her the task this morning to style me. So I've got three outfits <laughs> for three lots of photos at her barn this morning. Um, number one is an equipad shirt, a super cool and super cozy like knitted jumper. With some Yagya and riding leggings as well. So I'm all like equestrian. Um, it's like home from home. Uh, last night, like me. <laughs> yeah, actually, I literally look like Zara this morning. So I didn't fully catch up with you guys yesterday and later on I will give you a target haul of everything that I picked up. Um, I'm not sure whether we're going to be going back again today so there might be more. But we got back from the barn and then I actually went on a really nice hot girl walk. I put my headphones on and I literally walked from Zara's all the way to Times Square, which is about an hour. Um, I just kept walking and then I had a little wander around um, Times Square, did some shopping, which is great, which is, which is always great fun. Um, and then wandered back for an hour and then 20,000 or 20,000 and something steps later, my little legs were absolutely exhausted. So we had a really cozy evening. We got takeaway. Um, I had like a Chinese like sesame chicken thing with rice, which was delish. My body was craving juice. So I got like a... Um, like a healthy juice thing as well because my body was just needing vegetables. I've eaten so much sugar and crap over the last few days, my body was just needing it. Um, Zara got like a ratatouille vegan -y thing and then, <laughs> probably the best way to describe it, um, and some soup. That's about um, it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, and then we ordered frozen yogurt a couple of hours later. We watched all of Twilight and New Moon. Um, I think I fell asleep on the sofa at about half nine, woke up at four o'clock this morning. Hence why I've got horrendous bags under my eyes, but here we are. Oh no, wait, I do. <laughs> I definitely do. Um, and then this is my current view at the moment. We're just driving out of the city into Bedford, New York to go and see the horses this morning. So yeah, I will catch up with you guys when we're at the yard. Or at the barn. At the barn. <laughs>
morning. It is <laughs> six o'clock and Muggins over here decided to um, have a super long nap and is now exhausted and has 20 minutes to get ready for dinner at Lepe. So that is exactly what we are doing. <laughs> I had my um, hot girl walk in the city and then the heavens opened and I got quite cold and damp. Stopped into Shake Shack and had a really nice lunch and then I just got to the point where I think I hit like 12,000 steps and my body just couldn't. I was like, I'm exhausted. So I came back and messaged Zara saying that I was on my way back and I wanted a nap. And I made a cup of tea and I stuck on some Devil Wears Prada and fell asleep about five minutes in and the film finished a very long time ago. <laughs> and I've just woken up um, to say we've got dinner reservations in 30 minutes and I've got to get ready. So that's exactly where we're at. <laughs> Cover up these bad boys that... <laughs> I look very tired right now. My bag seemed so talented that I've been tired. <laughs> It will come as no shock that I have bought these cream blushes. These are the NARS ones, but this one is in shade Dolce Vita, and it's just the best thing in the whole entire world. Fluffy brush. So pretty. I mean, I have a natural flush anyway because I've just slept with my arm, but <laughs> um, it's just kind of adding that flush. <laughs> I'm quickest makeup look literally ever. Eyes to set. And do your blush just to set the cream blush super quick. Not a lot, just a little. <laughs> now, glass I'm getting lighting on my cheekbones. Just kind of go over all of them. Skin done after a quick setting spray. Buy gel first to tame them and stick them where I want. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> super fine refi um, eyebrow pencil just, just to fill in any gaps and kind of define my brows a little bit but super quickly because I have no time just brush that through just to blend it all in actually bring proper eyeshadow out with me because I didn't want to be spending like loads of time doing my face so I just brought some eyeshadow sticks for me this one's from Rare Beauty the hourglass one outer corners it's a bit darker this one mascara just makes everything come together perfect yeah pitch perfect lipstick And you're probably thinking, I can tell that that makeup took you three minutes, Scarlett, but um, it, it did. <laughs> um, so now I've got to let my hair kind of air dry until we go, because Zara doesn't actually have a hair dryer. Um, I need to get changed, choose my outfit, and then we are good to go. But oh my goodness me, I could so go back to sleep. Hello everybody, me here on the old voiceover because Muggins here had accidentally clicked the slow motion option on her camera, which is of course wonderful. Um, I'm just basically running you through my outfit. My boots are Stuart White's one, which I got at Bristol Village a few years ago. My skirt is old from River Island and my top is Holland Cooper, which I will leave linked for you. Um, I've got a little bow on my hair from Etsy and yeah, we were heading off to Nobu. <laughs> still on slow-mo mode without any voice from myself so we've sped it up and we're doing the voiceover for my Target and Bath and Body Works haul. And before you think she is never getting all of this home in her suitcase, I did it with 0.1 kilograms to spare. <laughs> so shock horror, I fell in love with Target and bought nearly everything that was pumpkin spice because I am a pumpkin spice girl. So we've got the pumpkin spice Cheerios which obviously since coming home, 10 out of 10. They are insane. It's actually mad how they managed to get the pumpkin spice flavours into these things. So then we obviously got pumpkin spice Oreos, which the best Oreos but the best biscuits I've ever had in my life. Also some pumpkin spice cookies and then some white chocolate covered pumpkin spice cookies because you can clearly ever have enough pumpkin spice cookies. Then I got this really nice dr uh, drinks bottle from Dunkin', which I haven't stopped using since I got home. And then I got two really nice jumpers from Target. They were both $25. They're cropped. One's in oatmeal and then one's in grey. Oh my goodness me, they are so so ridiculously soft and completely obsessed with them. Hope they fit okay because I actually haven't tried them on yet. 
And then I've basically got loads and loads of body washes. Um, obviously with Native you can't get it in the UK and I've seen it all over TikTok. So I got one, I think it, that, that one was vanilla and sandalwood. I then got a pumpkin spice hand wash. How could you leave that behind? <laughs> and then I also got the Native deodorant, which can confirm is incredible. And so gutted that I didn't buy more because you really can't get those in the UK. So that's my target haul completed. And then we move on to Bath and Body Works, which was buy three, get three free. Now, Muggins over here bought three different scents with a body wash and a matching moisturizer. Full of regrets now because the Copperfield, which is this one here, the best ever. So the first one I think was the Cozy Bourbon Vanilla, I think that was called. Copperfields, which is just autumn in a bottle and it smells incredible. And these scents last for like 24 hours on my body afterwards. Then I also got the Chasing Fireflies as well. And that was my little haul of the evening. And I think I'm basically telling you guys here that I'll see you in the morning and have a good night. <laughs> Good morning everybody, it's a bright, fresh and early day in New York City. Um, Zara and I are just off out for the day, we're going to go and watch Moulin Rouge at the theatre, well on Broadway this afternoon, which is so exciting because I actually haven't seen um, Moulin Rouge yet, so I'm buzzing for that. Um, first of all we're going to go and take some photos in this cute outfit and head for brunch, and then you yeah, have a lovely day at the theatre. So this little vlog update, I'm currently in downtown New York. Thank you. I feel like my ego in New York has um, yeah. it's, it's like is like exploding. Um, vlog update, my eyes are watering because there's wind and whenever there's wind I have watery eyes. I literally actually can't see that they're that, they're that watery. The show, the show was incredible. Like the most insane show ever. Lara's actually, oh do they do milkshakes? Oh I don't know if I trust that though. I feel like that's food poisoning waiting to happen. The show was insane. Zara's gone back to do some homework um, and I'm on my little hot girl walk of the day. I've just had a Luke's lobster roll, which 10 out of 10. I had the truffle one and it was delicious. And I walked in there um, 
and there was a really hot guy serving <laughs> he like i paid and he was like by the way i kind of feel like not confident enough to say this but also really want to say this um you look like a disney fairy um you look like a disney princess that's just stepped out of one of the fairy books and i was so like, blushing my thing right now is i'm on the hunt for a milkshake i don't know why i fancy one i had one yesterday at shake shack for lunch and ever since i've just been absolutely craving another oreo milkshake i don't know where i'm gonna find one i have no idea even like what direction i'm going in and i'm about to get run over so yeah me and my watery eye are looking for a milkshake um and then i'm gonna go back i think and just chill for the rest of the evening however this is the first day that i felt alive yesterday i slept so much i think i slept the jet lag off i got back to zara's at like half two-ish i think in the afternoon and i slept until six <laughs> we left hers at 6 30 to go to nobu we got back at about nine ish and I took my makeup off and literally fell asleep all the way up until about six o'clock this morning. So I feel like full of energy and alive again. Like I spent the last few days was absolutely exhausted. Oh, Duncan, would Duncan do a milkshake, do you think? Or do I just get a Duncan donut? Or do I keep on my search for a milkshake? Things I don't know where I'm gonna find a milkshake. And I'm not sure how many steps I actually have in me today after doing like 25,000 in the last few days. But guys, I'm gonna turn you around because it's such a beautiful day in New York. It's nicer view than windswept me that's been walking around since six o'clock this morning. Um, how beautiful is it everywhere? Literally stunning. I think we'll see if Duncan has a milkshake and we'll decide if it will be fancy. We're not going in there because it really smells in there and I don't want to eat anywhere that smells before you even go in. <laughs> um, so we're still on the hunt. I really just want an Oreo milkshake. Please somewhere have an Oreo milkshake. There's Mackey's, we don't want a Mackey's. Like I told you guys, this is actually my third time in New York, but usually I stay kind of in and around Central Park. I definitely know that area really well, whereas I feel like here I don't so much. So I am just kind of walking around, praying and hoping that <laughs> I'm walking in the direction that I want to be going in. So I kind of don't know where I am. I mean, I'm walking up with some lovely scaffolding and I just, I just want a milkshake. The easiest option would be to go back to Zara's and order an Uber Eats one, but we don't do the easy option. We're from Britain and we continue the search. We don't give up. But I would say that the flirting <laughs> and the love that the Americans have for the British girls is above and beyond. I'm here for it. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't need blusher. I'm like permanently blushing. It's fantastic. I'm not having the time of my life. Do we think this looks like a street that may have something milkshakey? I feel like we're going to give this street a go without crashing. Okay, please have a milkshake, otherwise I am about to give up. <laughs> I've been walking around for about 30 minutes now trying to find a milkshake. In America, why am I struggling so hard? <laughs> like, I'm nearly back up at the Empire State Building, which is quite a way away from where I just was around by Zara's, so... Um, my legs, we just, we just want a milkshake. <laughs> why is it so hard? Okay, we've come across a very pretty flower wall. <laughs> It's been another 20 minutes and I still have not found my milkshake and I oh, I'm gonna be giving in I think to not to not doing it. Um ah, Do I trust this guy? Do I? Don't I? How good are your milkshakes? Are they good? Cookies and cream. So not only have I found one, um I got one for free. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready to taste test? This is as I get like food poisoning for the rest of the week um, and never move again, but <laughs> I'm hoping it's okay. It is so good actually. Just what the doctor ordered. Good morning everybody. It is bright and early. It's a makeup free day. It is my last day in New York and I'm actually outside my favourite um, restaurant for breakfast, which is Junior's. It's my first time actually here this trip, but usually every single trip I have here like every single morning. So I'm going to really enjoy it on my last day. I'm trying to find the entrance though. I don't actually know where it is we're going. It might be through there, but I think that's take up. I need to understand where I'm actually going. This morning I'm all in active wear. I'm packed and ready to go, but I've got like nine, 10 hours until I actually need to leave for the airport. So I am gonna go in here for breakfast and then I'm gonna go to Central Park, have a really nice walk around Central Park, um, do a little bit more shopping and then carry on with my day.
Well guys, breakfast is out the way. I feel about a million stone. Oh my God, I feel so full. Um, it is the best place enough for breakfast ever. I am now walking actually into the center of Times Square because Zara and I did some shopping in American Eagle yesterday. But now I've packed and I've got like a tiny amount of room. I feel like I've gone overweight, but I do have like a tiny amount more room that I should use if I want to. Um, and there were some things in there yesterday that I really wanted to try on and didn't because I wanted to be careful with space. So I'm gonna go and do that first, which is in Times Square. Try and kind of deep bloat myself and get rid of a little bit of breakfast. I'm gonna go for a really nice long walk around the Central Park, but it's really cold this morning. I'm actually really chilly. I kind of regret not um, bringing my hoodie with me. So whether I end up buying like a jumper or something from American Eagle now is another question, just to kind of keep myself warm. I need to remember where it is. I feel like it's further down this way, yeah. So it's weird because around here I know where I am because I've always stayed in Times Square before. Whereas I think I was saying to you guys yesterday when I was in downtown, I haven't ever been there before, so it's kind of like learning a new, like <laughs> a whole new place. Whereas at Times Square, I, I feel really at home because I've been here so many times. I actually had my friend Beth um, FaceTime me this morning and she was like, oh, you know, do you feel safe walking around New York? And I absolutely do. And I, and I feel like because I've been here so many times now, like I absolutely do. Um, but yeah, let me turn you around so you can see my view because it is just spectacular here. Like I will never get bored of this. I feel so honored and so blessed to have been here. I feel like I really needed this trip. I feel like coming on my own and just being, you know, spontaneous and I'm about to get run over actually. Um, I just, I feel like I have like such personal growth from this trip on my own. I don't know why, I just, it feels, I don't know, really special to me. This is my current view. Um, again, about to get run over. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's the one thing I'm not very good at is looking where I'm going. I just walk across the roads not thinking, oh, cars. But Times Square is just, it's just beautiful. Zara was saying that she hates it because it's so touristy, but as a tourist, we love it. There is nothing quite like this. Um, well, there is nothing quite like this anywhere. It's just, it's amazing. But it is just so cold today. Um, I am absolutely, <laughs> absolutely freezing. Um, yeah, oh, here we go. Here's American Eagle. I suppose it's a little bit like Urban Outfitters, but I don't know, it's, it's different to anything we've got in the UK. Like the clothing is amazing. Um, and I'm kind of really into like American loungewear. I know that sounds really bizarre. Um, like, oh, why, why is it different to British? But it just is, it's a whole different, it's like a whole different vibe. I don't I think I've got really dark actually, guys. Um, so let's just go in and start shopping. Let's start with some trying on. Okay, first up is this jumper. Super comfy, like very nice. It's this super cozy chenille um, fabric jumper. A jumper, and actually, it would shock you that this is actually in a size extra small. It's that baggy. Um, I've then got these knit trousers on, super cozy, but these are a size small and they're huge. So I think I'm gonna want an extra small, but I do think they're out of stock in the extra small, which is really annoying. And then I love this green panel shirt, but they only have a size medium left, which as we can see is literally swamping me, which is so sad. Um, if this was an extra small and just fitted like a slightly less oversized, I think I'd grab this. This is very like cozy casual going out to go and get a pumpkin spice latte um, on my ones and just have a bit of like a self-care Sunday morning. It's just really sadly absolutely massive. Okay, next we've got this brown lumber shirt, which is very, very like giving me autumn kind of Virgin River vibes. Instantly, yes. This is it done up and then this is it undone as well. Let's have a little look. Yeah, I feel like this is such a nice cute vibe. Casual but cute at the same time. I'm feeling it. Okay, we're downstairs. The camera's not bringing the colour up, but it's just like a really fleecy um, green like jacket type thing, which is really cute.
coming to the end of the video, which is so sad. I'm leaving New York in the next two hours. I've just got back to Zara's a couple of hours early, but I kind of want to charge my phone, sort my suitcases out and get fully ready to go. Have fully just realized that the last um, little haul I filmed for you guys was on slow motion. So that's going to be really fun watching back and I do apologize. This, however, is a normal motion. I just went out and bought some new bits and pieces. So before I fully put everything away, I thought I would share them with you. Um, the first two items are from Hollister of of which the rest of the stuff that I tried on that I love, um, I'm gonna buy in England with free delivery and my members points. Um, but these two items were out of stock online um, and are like out of stock everywhere. So I got this, can you see? This like waffle jumper. Um, and I'm, and I'm going to be ordering the matching joggers um, online. <laughs> These, <laughs> again, this was the last size in the whole store. Hopefully it wasn't a size extra small and online they're just sold out in every single colour. So this is the new like knit hoodies with the rib detailing here. They kind of fit and look like the Frankie's bikinis ones that you see kind of going viral all the time. So I got it in this like pine green and the bottoms are um, actually online. So I'm going to order them. And then the last thing that I bought in New York, which is so sad other than whatever I'm going to be buying at the airport, um, is this kind of lumberjack lumberjack um waffle shirt in cream from airy um which is kind of part of american eagle this is so lovely this is actually in an extra 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 small um it's just, it's super oversized um and it was again the only size that they had left other than extra large and if extra extra small fits me then the extra large you can just imagine um so yeah that is everything that i bought i am gonna finish packing i feel like my suitcase is maybe maybe overweight i arrived with 17 kilos i've got 23 kilos kilos to go I don't the only thing that I obviously have bought is all that Bath and Body Work stuff, which is quite heavy. However, surely it's not six kilos worth. I've got quite a few jumpers, but again, jumpers are really lightweight. Do you know what I mean? I'm praying, praying that um, it's all fine. I think I might put these actually in my hand luggage because again, I just take everything away from the main luggage if I can. But super quick New York debrief. I have had the most amazing trip this is kind of the first trip that i've done like fully solo even though it's semi solo i have probably spent 85 to 90 percent of this trip on my own um so i feel like if you're scared of solo traveling which i always have been but i've always been intrigued to do it because i feel like as a single person it's really difficult sometimes especially at my age finding people that a are wanting to go on holiday b wanting to go to the same places that you are and c are single and free to actually do it because a lot of people are in relationships and have full-time jobs that they can't kind of get in and out of easily um, and all these different things that, you know, life stops us from doing. And then you kind of miss out on travel. And I feel like there's such a stigma around solo traveling and a massive fear around it and coming to a big city like this on my own. Of course, I had anxiety. Of course, I was a little bit worried. Obviously, I've been super lucky and I have been staying with a friend. And it's like a completely secure building. There's like a doormat. It's about as safe and secure as probably what you're going to get solo traveling. So I do understand that it is like semi-solo and I understand I've been incredibly lucky, lucky to have this experience with solo traveling. Um, but as cliche as it sounds, I really feel like I found myself on this trip. Not that I've been lost and not that I wasn't found beforehand. I just feel so much more centered and I feel so much more like alive in myself. Again, it sounds so cliche, sounds so bizarre and so like, oh, everybody says that. It's so weird until you actually experience it. Um, it's the weirdest feeling ever. I feel so, as I say, like safe and secure in myself as well to come across the world or the pond is what they'd call in or what they'd say in America. Um, on my own and do the whole traveling on my own to get to the airport, to go through the airport, which I know is like everyone goes through an airport, but it's coming out the other side and coming out of JFK was kind of a little bit sketchy. Feeling kind of brave enough to get into a taxi on my own, which again, as a woman is such a scary thing and such a big thing to get into a taxi on our own, which really should not be the case, but it absolutely is the case. And you know, when I first arrived, when I first arrived at Zara, Zara wasn't here, she was at the, at the theater. So again, making sure I'd got to the right place and settling in and whatever, like it was, it was, it was, it was anxiety. Like it was scary. I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I wasn't, you know, Mrs. Confident the whole way through. Um, but oh, I've just, I mean, I am also lucky. I have been to New York a few times, so I kind of know where I'm going and kind of what I'm doing slightly. If it was maybe my first time in New York, I don't know how maybe I'd feel um, in terms of that. But I feel like it's just a reminder that you can do whatever you want to do and don't let anybody stop you from doing what you want to do. And, you know, I just, I just feel so full of, I don't know, like love and life and excitement and yeah, I've just, I've had the trip of a lifetime. I have had 
well, just the most amazing time. I've done amazing things. I've got memories that are going to last me my entire lifetime. This is the plus with doing YouTube, is these memories are going to be, you know, available and accessible for me to watch in years and years and years and years to come, which again is just incredible. I have all these memories on film and um, I can come back and watch it whenever I want to, which is what I love about filming my kind of trips and stuff on YouTube is that they're always there for me to be able to watch. Um, and it means I can share them with you guys as well. So little no makeup, scruffy looking me is going to finish packing. Um, wait for my phone to charge, book an Uber, head to the airport and go home. I'm going to see my ponies. I, I take off at 8pm here this evening and I land at 8am tomorrow morning in the UK. I'm going to drive home from Gatwick, um, have a shower, possibly have a nap, depending on how I feel. But I feel like I should shatter myself out tomorrow to fight off the jet lag. Because I've only just got over it here. Like I only feel perfectly fine like today. <laughs> I've just got into a good sleep routine. I slept until seven this morning, which is crazy. And I went to sleep at like half eight. <laughs> so I got a, so I had a great sleep yesterday. Um, so yeah, typically just over it before now going home. Um, so yeah, I feel like I should really kind of tire myself out tomorrow. So I have a good sleep tomorrow night and again, sleep through the jet lag, if that makes sense. But I'm going to be doing my horses, getting my doggos um, and getting back into life and routine from tomorrow. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video, everybody. I'm assuming it's quite a long one. So so well done for staying. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. The biggest thank you to Zara if you're watching this. I love you and you've been the most incredible person ever for letting me stay in your apartment. Um, I've just had, I've had the time of my life. So I will see you guys all very soon and thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>